Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about XPath and CSS Selector. The code implementation is almost same for both XPath and CSS Selector. Let's see practically. So creating a class. So the class name is locators XPath CSS. Public static void main, click on finish. I am just reusing the previous example code. So we are launching the application and navigating to this URL. Now for XPath example, I am going to enter the state name and the postal code using the XPath. Before that you may think what is XPath? XPath means XML path. We have two types of XPath, one is absolute XPath, another one is relative XPath. I will have a separate video on XPath alone. For time being, we are going to use the developer tools to capture the XPath. But in advanced coding, instead of inspecting it, we will create the XPath, which we will learn it in the future. Now we will concentrate how to get the XPath using the developer tool. Press F12. Now inspect the state or province or region. When we inspect under the elements, that particular tag is highlighted. Just right click, copy. Here you can see copy XPath. Just click on XPath, paste it here. Same way inspect for postal code. It is highlighting just right click copy XPath. So we got XPath for state and zip code. Now we will code it. Driver dot find element by dot XPath. Inside this XPath we have to give this exact value. Then dot send keys we have to enter the state name tamil nadu the next line is driver find element by dot xpath the xpath value for zip code you have to paste within the double code dot send keys even though it's a number we have to give with the double code and just simply giving this pin code so coding is completed now we will run and see run as java application application launched navigating to the url maximized and you can see here the value of state and postal code is entered successfully this is how you have to use the xpath now we will learn the css selector locator it is similar to XPath. What I am going to do is, I am going to enter the email ID and mobile number. Inspect the email. You got that particular tag. Right click, copy. If it is XPath, we will select the copy XPath. If it is CSS selector, we have to select the copy selector. Just copy, paste it. The next one is mobile number just inspect and see this is the value for mobile number right click copy selector so we got two locators value driver dot find element by dot you can see css selector inside this we have to give the value dot send keys we are going to enter the email id spinotarvins at gmail.com then for mobile number driver dot find element by dot css selector within double quote we have to mention the value then then dot send keys giving the mobile number so we completed coding for css selector just run as java application we will see how it will work now browser is launched maximized then you can see by using xpath it entered the state and the city value 
by using the css selector it entered the email id and mobile number now a question arise which one to use whether xpath or css selector each locator is having its own advantages and disadvantages so based on browser dynamic web elements performance we have to decide the locator surely we will learn about both xpath and css selector in depth in upcoming videos thanks for watching happy learning